I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, a play that we use all the time, but it's a, essentially a support play. And so let me grab my charts here. But you know, we trade these golds like pretty much every day. So let me get rid of this thing here. So today, you know, we had a, a pretty good day trading this uh, nugget and J nug and it's a really simple setup that uh, I've been using for years and especially with gold which tends to refade its gaps pretty often but uh, it's just a matter of uh, hitting support and resistance you can see I made a few grand on a nugget here and what essentially happens is you know after this big gap up from the brexit you know it's been consolidating and so it's essentially just one big giant flag you know you can see this thing it's just one big giant flag it's evening out till it makes its next run. You can see on the daily, you know, it popped up into resistance and it's come back, and now it's just flagging out over here uh, on a on a small term basis. But you can see the big picture is really really powerful on this thing. If you clean out all these lines, you'll see a, a really really nice chart here. But you know, the Brexit gap it kind of ran into this Bollinger Band, and so now it's come down and consolidated. But you know, what we've been doing, and I did today, was. You know, when it has these gaps, you know, it's tending to refade them while it's stuck in the range. And so today it gapped down and opened up um, red on the day. And so what I ended up doing was, you can see it's at 118 into the close, and it gapped down, and it got down to about 111. And so, it, so you can see here it spiked right down into support. And so this is a support play for us. And so immediately, as soon as it taps back into support, I'm leveling into this stock. Uh, with the stop right under as this range should hold. And if it doesn't, I can get out for a really, really small loss. And so, you know, you can see what happened here is immediately within a couple candles, this thing runs up right into the 116 um, spot. And so essentially I'm just selling off, you know, re really into this thing uh, as I'm using that support as a guide. And you can see it still held uh, fairly well. And I did the same thing with UVXY. You know, I like to kind of spread things around, but same type of deal, you know, you could, it gapped down and ran right into support. And so, you know, we ended up positioning ourselves, uh, you know, a few hundred shares into this thing. And, uh, you know, I caught like eight or nine bucks into this as it spiked up into the nine EMA. What happens at the open is, you know, once you kind of uh, fill the gap and run into the nine EMA, you want to start to reverse the trade or sell into it because your gap is up here, your gap fill. And so, you know, you want to be selling off into these areas, but you also have your 9 EMA, 20 EMA there. And so, you know, you sell some off into it. And, and now it's at, you know, now it's looking a lot better. And, you know, there's some secondary plays that you can do. But for the open, uh, that's one of my favorite type of setups. Only if there's strong support there, guys. Otherwise, we don't take it. So if you're looking at the big picture, you know, and you can go to an hourly chart or a 30 minute chart, however you want to do it to make it look clean. Uh, for yourself and what are you going to trade on, look for those support areas. And then if you gap into support, don't think short. You know, think about the overall trend. The overall trend of this is much higher, right? And so those pullbacks to support, those become buying opportunities for us to want to be digging into it as long as we can get into low risk areas. So uh, we had a great day today. Uh, as you guys probably know, you know, I'm on video and screen share all day in front of my students. I've had 10 students literally living in my house the last uh, few weeks, and they're all at the beach right now. But, you know, we've been using these strategies uh, every single day to make profits. And so I hope this helps. Uh, leave me any comments or you know, email me anytime you guys need anything. Uh, take care and uh, have a good day, guys. Take care.